All right, and so that takes us into our next fight. We got uh, Randy Brown versus Alex Oliveira. Should be a great one. You know, Randy, he was looking good in that last fight. But he, he, he caught a mm -hmm. knee to the face up against the fence, man. And mm -hmm. you know, he, he was really looking dominant in that one. But uh, lo and behold, he wasn't protecting himself and, and caught that. His head was down, caught that mm -hmm. low knee to the face. So looking forward to seeing him adjust there. Uh, Alex Oliveira, same thing, you know, that uh, that guillotine choke, man, by uh, Shavkat. I, I rewatched that one. And man, yo, the way he executed that sweep while he had it to get him down. Oh, man. That was disgusting. Yo. disgusting. That was sick. so good. So good. So <laughs> Yeah, so that lines up beautifully for this Walter Way bout. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, give give us a little bit more on this one. The one thing that kind of first of all stood out to me is the size difference. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's three versus five eleven. That's a big boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, right? Because Oliveira likes to use his kicks as well, right? We call him Brazilian Cowboy. Funny enough, the closest thing to a WWE <laughs> match in the UFC ever was, you know, American Cowboy versus, you know, Brazilian Cowboy. And it was like the lose rest, the lose the hat kind of thing. So it was like the Cowboy match. It's, it's funny enough, I, I, I think that the 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 length it's like it's like the legs i i think you're gonna see randy brown wear that frame like he he keeps like a very uh wide stance like i think he likes to have that power and use those kicks kind of thing the cardio and things like that are gonna be tough right i think charles Rivera is an elite striker i think you know he's a fan favorite all those kinds of things but he's a survivor too right he knows how to win fights i think he's been able to show perseverance and resilience in many fights the thing about Randy Brown, you touched on, you know, the Vincent Luque fight. I, I personally think Vincent Luque is like elite, elite. I, I love the mm -hmm. striking. You know, he's out of he's at a really good camp now too, right? So at the end of the day, Randy Brown fought a very, very good fighter and and, and came up short. You know, it is who it, it is who it is, if you will. So <laughs> I think the length is going to be a little bit more canceled up from a striking perspective. I think you're going to see him weird in the legs. I think he's going to be able to kind of reach a little bit, but you don't want to reach too much against a guy like Charles. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the leg mm. kicks should, should work really well for him. But I think if you allow Randy Brown to kind of, you know, understand uh, like the opponent and, and time his shots and be able to kind of break things down, get up against the fence. It's, it's the part that kind of, nullifies any offense that Charles Rivera can really do because I think mm -hmm. the moment he either senses sorry I what know you Charles? Love your boy. no you oh. love your boy <laughs> Ooh, I'm so sorry I'm so that's so good oh oh I'm just <laughs> my little bleach blonde hair little beautiful boy um <laughs> I uh yeah I just I just love I just love the the the, the early signs of, of what he showed us in the UFC right you saw mm -hmm. a guy who who picked the shots who, who really attacked the body with his kicks those were the things that really made him a damaging fighter so again a guy like Randy Brown you know maybe test that body with those powerful kicks I think that's going to be a little bit of a ticket to success for him we love the takedown defense. That's how we know, you know, 60% Oliveira, 71% Randy Brown. Guess what we're going to see, ladies and gentlemen? Most likely a little bit of a bang. I think that both guys have the skill to at least switch it up if they need to, which is going to be important. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, any any one of these guys can maybe even pull off a finish, but at the same time, it's it's going to come down to athleticism, cardio, and just, you know, who, who makes this, the real mistakes first? Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, diving into the line, I'm going to take a stab at it. Might be completely off, but I'm going to say Randy Brown at a minus 150. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Randy Brown at a little higher rate. I'm going to okay. just say because of age, because of, you know, what people expect to see from Randy Brown has to always play a part. And so I, I'm going to actually go with just maybe a, maybe a minus 175 because the devils like to cheat. Oh, like to cheat, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you you cheating on this one or what, man? What? Ah, let's give you another showcase showdown. Where's my wow. man? Wow! Show me him. Show me him. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> that means you hit a little close too, though, right? Like that, that's in the range yeah. of Bing, 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 Minus Bing, one. Bing, Bing. <laughs> Minus one seventy-five is the exact line for this. Wow, one. dude! Wow. <laughs> I nailed, that, it, I mean, nailed it. That's so funny. So, like, I mean, let's be real. Like, it, it comes down to fundamentally the the look, right? I think he he mm -hmm. gives the perception that he's he's going to be a very powerful fighter. I think that, like I said, I, I like the way he wears 
that that length but at the same time you got to use it better you got to be able to dictate that part of the game like use your jab use your length kicks because at the end of the day if Oliveira is able to land like good body kicks or even take this fight to the ground and maybe muster up some offense and maybe keep mm-hmm. you tired down there that's going to be a problem for you so it, it's going to be interesting to see because I, I think there are there are there are multiple ways for this fight to go but you know I, I, the Randy I Brown, and I think it's a fair line Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so as well. So that wraps up UFC Vegas 20. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. All our Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff is there. Give us a follow, give us a tweet, shoot us a message, whatever floats your boat. Peace.